A promising sickle cell gene therapy procedure has left a French teenager with no signs of the disease 15 months after treatment, raising hopes that someday it could be used by millions of people suffering from genetic disorder. The news is especially encouraging because the patient has been producing normal blood cells even though he is no longer taking medications or regular blood transfusions. Physicians at the Necker Children's Hospital in Paris performed the procedure on the young man when he was 13, according to the BBC, after the disease wreaked havoc on his body since he had to undergo hip replacement and spleen removal. Sickle cells cause the normally round red blood cells to deform into a curved, sickle-like shape. That means cells can cluster during their oxygen journey through the body, potentially blocking the flow of blood to vital organs. The patient's sickle cell was so severe that doctors decided to try a gene therapy that modified the DNA extracted from the bone marrow to create the right type of red blood cells. More than a year, the patient is still producing the correct type of blood, no longer needs treatment, and has been able to resume all normal daily activities, according to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine and EJM. The biotechnology-based Massachusetts Bluebird Bio which created the treatment used in the lentiglobin BB305 study, has received an advanced designation of the Food and Drug Administration's therapy for the experimental product. We are pleased to see this case study published in NEJM and shared with the wider research community. The successful outcome in patient 1204 demonstrates the promise of treatment with lentiglobin gene therapy in patients with severe sickle cell disease and serves as a guide to our efforts to optimize outcomes in future patients. The doctors involved in the study caution us to call it an authentic cure since this has been demonstrated only in one patient. Large-scale trials are necessary before determining widespread efficacy. But for now, the technique of gene therapy has a convincing proof of concept.